pray for somebody like me that came into this place. May the good Lord preserve you and give you long life more. In Jesus' name. My, uh, my name is Shinere Mwabike. I came from Favor Food in Oklahoma District. So my, my, my testimony goes like this. Since two years now, I'm having waist pain. Whenever I took drugs, it, 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 it may be two weeks or a week. He released me. At times he stopped. Then he started giving me big pains again in my way. Whenever I sit down, to get up is worse. But as God may have it, at this uh, divine touch, they challenge the trust in us. I say, ah, the good God, God, I already remember me in this very divine touch. As uh, our step pastor, as uh, yes, is going to come, I'm free in Jesus' name. And I'm free also in Jesus' name. And it started on Saturday, my healing takes place. On yesterday, I'm also free in Jesus' name. It's no more failing me again. I can even to lift something up, which I can never do. I'm free in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Severe waist pain for about two years, taken away on Saturday, and yours is gone. The next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. I say, Praise the Lord. My name is Pastor Felix Igwe. It happened some months ago. I discovered unusual urinating. And I went to lab, and I was tested, and they said I have postulate and other sicknesses around. And then they gave me medication, I took everything, the problem continued. And uh, it happened that we came here, I came here last uh, Thursday, and uh, prayer was going on, battle was going on, but by the special grace of God, just about last, last Thursday, the Almighty God, by His grace, taught me. Last night, I did not only once. That convinces me that the problem is solved. And up to this date, I am well. May the name of the Lord be praised and glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Has done your own also. Keep checking yourself because the power has been released on you. As you describe your miracle, join them. Many are still coming out. Join them so that we can take your testimony. We take the next testifier before we go to online people. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Mary Lamidi. I am from Chatancha Group, Enugu here. The Lord did marvelous things for me in this crusade. When we are preparing for this crusade on Monday, just a week today, I started having pain down my lower abdomen. By the time I know it, the pain spread to my back, to my waist. As the day was advancing, the pain was getting worse. To the extent that while I was going to the Bible study in the evening, it was with great difficulty. By the next day being Tuesday, it became worse, such that if I sit down, to get up will be a problem. If I lie down, the same thing. In fact, the pain continued so excruciating that by Thursday, I lie down because I couldn't stand, I couldn't sit in my place of work, and I couldn't get up again. My colleague had to come and help me to stand up. It was so much that everybody, once you see me, you ask me what's wrong with you. Even my colleagues, they were telling me, say, better go to the hospital so that you see a doctor. I said, no, even if I will go to the hospital, I'm going to crusade to receive the divine touch of God. And then when I came on Thursday, I believed God. Even before the final amen, the Lord touched, I didn't even know when the pain disappeared. Brethren, I sat down to get up was problem. But 
when they said we should welcome the man of God, I didn't know when I jumped up. I didn't even remember the pain again. I now started saying to myself, ah, I was having waist pain. When is waist pain again? I sat down. I jumped up again. Behold, everything gone at once. The next day, when I got to my working place, they saw me coming. They said, is this not Auntie Mary? When I heard it, I jumped up. I ran. All of them ran out. They followed me. They were jumping up and praising God. They said, what happened to you? I said, divine touch. And then I, I persuaded them to come. Some of them might be hearing me now here. I thank the name of the Lord who did it for me. I say, may his name be glorified forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hand together for Jesus and rejoice with her. Let's say just one more before we go to social media. The next person quickly, please. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. By special God grace, my name is Sister Miracle Chechukwon Igbo, and by His grace, I'm safe. I'm from Obosu region in Anambra. I'm here to testify what the Lord has done for me. I entered a vehicle. It was the cleaner pass. I didn't know. Everybody in the vehicle were sleeping, except the little child and I. So I started shouting, God of Kumu, you deliver me. God of Kumu, you deliver me. They asked me to close my mouth. I keep on shouting it. There was a trouble in the vehicle. They asked the driver to stop, and they dropped me out with the child and his mother. That is how God delivered me from the hand of the cleaner pass. And my second testimony is that I was having disappointment in marriage, but as, after the prayer of the man of God, that is how the Lord helped me. The, the problem of disappointment in marriage was canceled. My testimony, the, um, the third testimony is that I was having severe pain on my waist. I couldn't bear down to sleep, to sweep, or to do anything. On Saturday, after the prayer of the man of God, I bend down, I walk around, I turn. I couldn't see any pain again in my body. May the Lord who did it for me also remember you in Jesus' name. You didn't say amen. Put your hand together for Jesus. We now go to our social media to take more testimonies. Yes, we have more testimonies coming in all across the globe. But we want to take this one first from Lagos, and then we'll take another from Abuja and others later. We'll take the testimony from Lagos now. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I'm Sister Esther Onoa by name. I want to thank the name of the Lord for what the Lord did for me. I've been having this problem a year hand after the death of my mom. I find it difficult in breathing. Whenever I want to breathe, I'll be finding it difficult or to the extent I will have to look for a comfortable place to gain my strength back. But after the Divine Touch program, the prayer of the man of God, our daddy in the Lord on Friday, even before I came on Friday, my sister came to my house and she saw the way I was doing and asked me that, have this problem started? I said, yes, I'm not getting myself. So she told me I should sit down, I should balance, but I sat down, I was not getting myself. I have to lie down. I will have to look for a comfortable place before I will gain myself. It will took me maybe a minute or maybe 30 minutes before we regain myself. But after the prayer of the man of God on Friday, the final amen, I can breathe very well. I can stand without the help of anybody. And in fact, what I cannot do before I started doing it. And again, I was having a sharp pain that same year when my mom died. All hope was lost when my mom died. I was thinking that I can't make it because she was very close to me. Her death was a shock to me. But after the prayer of the man of God on Friday, I gave myself. In fact, I was strong. People, uh, my mother was like, sure you will not go for your checkup. I said, I'm okay. I'm very, very okay. I want to bless the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And now we go to Abuja for the next testimony. The Lord. 
the sister standing beside me is a invitee. One of our members from our group invited her to this program, Divine Connection. She's from gracious group of district, Nyanya region, FCT. There is great something that God has done in her life during the program in Kado. She's going to testify it in Hausa, then I will summarize it. Russian life in the Nafama, the Shihar Shakara, Aiken, in a Dinachi, and I did the one a local team. Going Aifua, now Aifulafia. I am quite a beer, Sena Gamu, the Russian life here, said Jiki Akara, Kumbrama, Gapakea, said Chiki Kumaya Fina, that and one the Dama in Arcade, Chiki. Chiki and a Sena Zogida Yana, the Nazogida Yana Kuma, say I and Ayado Keni Zua as Viti. And I would any as we did in Kuma, Master as we did, and I would any bass again to the cage if you never. A kind of chunk, and I would any bag and Eva was more bass at good animal quarter water. So you can all like in a then as a gida and Tina say, I call what a man the tag and the gida and Tina say that of Jenny wait a clear quick program desire a chance here, Buddha say that I can eat and watch them. The Kuma. Nina as a Marco in the Sarawani, in a no money a wound. Then I book a dear chance in our coma in any can no man cana. I sat you one chan in cana. Then I say, in our adua, in our do and our bother the ski and our bother the Lucianaga Allah. I sat in the Najedin. Then I am a fariki, then I am a fariki. Say when you mutum babada she is, say as only I'm a fariki and I saw your cutter than he, the Iaba. Ina so ya kadar da ni be iya ba ikon Allah yayi da ni sai na zo na kadar da wannan mutumin nan da na kadar da shi kuma a bayan haka da gari ya wa ne ban kara gan ciki din sai ciki ya sauka ina godewa Allah da aduwoyi jama'a wanda suke yi mini Praise the Lord Our testimony goes like this She was a pregnant and uh, by the grace of God she put to bed safely but after that her stomach swelled up like a woman with a nine months pregnant so she was passing through this pain up to one year so somebody invited somebody saw her in one of her, her relation house and invited her for the program after the man of God prayed for her, one night she was strong, she had a dream. She was struggling, fighting with somebody. And uh, God has given her strength to be able to overthrow the person. And that, as she woke up, her stomach, all of a sudden, the stomach problem has gone. God has healed her completely. She was delivered. She was set free. You and now we have this testimony coming in all the way from Ghana. And then this person says that he has been suffering from this afterbirth body itching. This problem had persisted for almost 10 years. And right after the prayers of the man of God, he went in to take his shower lo and behold the pain is gone completely praise the lord and the last one before we hand over to the state of Asia is from the united kingdom the sun usually had stuffy nose in the night and makes it difficult to breathe but during this divine touch program every stuffy nose cleared and he wrote, my son is now completely healed and can sleep soundly, no more breathing issues. Praise the Lord. We now hand over to the state of Asia.
I wanted to give you good news, but since your amen is so dull, I will deserve it. 